squeezed the living daylight out of me. I've been binding my chest for the past 7 years. And if you don't know what chest binding is, it's when you bind your chest. Seriously though, how else am I supposed to explain chest binding? It's when you decide to flatten your pancakes. Ouch. But here's the thing, I actually never had a problem with my pancakes, even after I realized certain things about myself at the age of 13. In fact, we got along pretty well. They'll be dangling and jiggling around and I'd go about my everyday life. Things were going well between us. That is until I stepped outside of the house. Now let me ask you a question first. If you ever come across a human being who looks like a boy and a girl but you just can't put your finger on either one, what else do you look at for a clue? Is it A. The chest, B. The chest, C. The chest, O. D all of the above. Exactly. Now some of you might say otherwise but I think I should remind you that I come from a Southeast Asian country and the people over here can be a little different when it comes to these things. So every time I step outside of the house people would just stare at my pancakes to determine if I'm male or female. And you know what? It's okay to be curious and all. You do you. But just don't make it obvious to the point of making me feel uncomfortable. And that is exactly what they did and why I started to feel disturbed by my pancakes. But I still didn't know about the existence of chest binders back then. So one day when I was 15, I was watching a gender bender Korean drama called You're Beautiful and I saw this scene where Gominam had bandages around her chest, keeping it hidden so that she can pass as a boy. And I thought, you know what? That's what I should do. I was so desperate to do this that I tricked my mom into buying me one of those cheap bandages used for sprained ankles, came back home and was so excited to try binding my chest, only to be disappointed right after. Because it didn't work. And I was actually very upset and filled with a lot of self-hatred by that point. So I decided to consult Dr. Google who then introduced me to chest binders. But there was no way for me to talk my mom into getting me one. She would have killed me had I asked for it back then. In fact, she did go crazy when she found out about it later on. But that's a whole nother story. So I looked for alternatives and came across an interesting idea for a homemade binder. The idea was to use elastic bands used by tailors, a couple of buckles and voila, you got yourself a binder. I then went to a sewing shop, got myself elastic bands and buckles, came back home and got right into sewing this binder. After a few hours, I was finally done with it. It was time for me to try it on. And as soon as I buckled it in place... My pancakes vanished. I was a little scared because they were nowhere in sight. I had to go hunting for my missing pancakes. They were gone and I was the happiest person on earth. The end is what I wish I could say. But let's face it, while it had successfully hidden my pancakes, it had also successfully squeezed the living daylight out of me. It was so tight I couldn't breathe, I couldn't move and I swear I felt my organs all over the place repositioning themselves. Remember that corset scene in Kuroshitsuji where CL was saying that his internal organs were about to leak out? Yeah, I finally understood what he meant. But because I was so blinded by desperation, I refused to acknowledge that this homemade binder was killing me. I went ahead and started wearing it to school. And I remember coming back from school and just coughing my lungs out the minute I took the binder off. And as the days went by, remember the buckles holding both ends together? They started digging into my own skin because of how tight it was, causing it to bleed and leave scars. Even then, I was still not gonna back down. It was like you could have thrown the worst things in life at me and I would still claim to be okay. Because for the first time after a long time, with this binder, I finally felt comfortable with my body. I was confident when going outside, I was very motivated and I was genuinely happy and in immense pain at the same time. It was such a conflicting situation, I was literally digging my own grave with a smile on my face. I even made two extra binders after that. And somewhere towards the end of the year, I decided to take a huge risk by tricking my mom into buying me a legit chest binder. I told her that for Christmas I wanted something anime related which you can only get online, so she gave me her credit card. And I'm telling you, I was shitting my pants as I placed the order for this binder from eBay. And believe it or not, 
it was a success. It didn't arrive on Christmas but when it did, I brushed it off as some sort of cosplay thing in front of my family. But I wasn't very happy with it when I tried it on. It just wasn't as effective as my homemade binder. So what did I do? I went back and continued wearing my destructive homemade binder for the next two years. Yes, I know, current me feels like going back in time and just slapping some sense into 15 year old me. Because when I was 17, while taking a shower, I realized that I could no longer feel any form of sensation at one spot of my chest. And you wanna know what caused that to happen? My tight homemade binder ended up damaging my nerves. After that, I ripped these binders, shredded it, stomped on it, wiped Satan's butt with it, and threw it into the abyss. The frustrating part is that I could have avoided all of this, and I've been wearing proper chest binders ever since then. I'd only wear them when I go to college, work, or any type of outing, but if I'm just going to a nearby mall or supermarket, I could care less about the stairs. I'm just finally happy with myself. Now I don't know how it may be for some of you, how strict your parents are, especially if you're underage, but just please, please, please be patient. These binders are not gonna run away and your health is a lot more important, so just hang in there. Because looking back, I just did one dumb thing after another and I wish I had someone to slap some sense into me back then.